Hey guys, uh, today we're going to tie a bunny leech. Um, it's a very effective leech pattern, but you can also tie it in various different colors uh, to imitate different bait fish or leeches or any life forms. Um, you can also tie it in attractive colors, um, incorporate some fluorescent orange or chartreuse and white. They're especially good flies in those colors. I mean still waters. I just quickly want to go through the, the material that we're going to use. Uh, first off the hook. Uh, for this specific fly we're going to tie, we, I chose a um, Gamagatsu B10S. This is a size 6. It's a straight eyed hook. Very strong but it has some flex in it. It's got a nice wide gape. That's the hook that we're going to use. For the thread, um, on larger flies, I like using Danville's um, 210 linear flat wax. Um, on this specific fly, I chose the fluorescent orange again. Um, this is just to make it easier for you guys to see when I'm tying. For the tail and the wing, we'll be using a natural Zonka strip. This is a quarter inch. Um, you can make it any color. Most, most popular colors um, are black, brown, or purple. I'm just using some natural colors here. For the dubbing of the body, um, I prefer using a ice dub or a UV dub or something like that. This is just a tan or a shrimp color. For the color of the fly, you're going to use another Zonka strip. For accent color, I chose this shrimp pink color. You can also use the same color as well as the tail or the wing. For the tools, um, I've got a bobbin here, also a hackle plier, a scissor, a whip finishing tool. Also, um, when you're spinning the collar um, and creating the dubbing brush, you'll either use a um, dubbing brush spinner or I just use a milk frother that I have um, bent the point over. Also, a bulldog clamp or something similar. This is to grip the fibers from the Zonka strip when you're building the collar. This is some UV resin just to finish the fly off and a UV torch to set the resin. Good. To start the fly, we're going to place the hook into the vise and clamp it in place. Just want to make sure that it's straight. Once you're happy that it's straight, just lock the cam in place. Yeah, you can see it's crying. It's nice and nice and secure. Attach the thread. Make a couple of wraps forward, then just run over it again. Now it's locked in place. For 210 denier, you can't really break it, so you have to cut it off. Now I'll wrap forward again just to the back of the eye, then all the way back to the bend of the hook and touching turns. I'm gonna leave it right there. Now to prepare the Zonka strip you can pull the fibers back, let me put it there Pull the fibers back in their natural in the natural way that they want to lie. Then you want to taper the leather portion at the bottom. You do this by making use of scissor. I'm gonna make a cut and then I'll show you what I mean by tapering. There you are. You see, I can I made a um, V cut in the leather part. That just tapers it down and makes for a more natural looking tail. Now you measure the total length of the leather part against the hook. Should be about the same length. Oh, it depends on what hook you use. Some hooks have very short shanks. Then you'll 
then you'll use much longer part of Zonka strip. That's about right for this size fly. Then I comb back the fibers to reveal the base of the fibers on the leather. I put the, that point over the place where I left the thread and I make some wraps just to secure it in place. With 210 denier you can pull quite hard. That's it, that should be fine. Then, just to secure it nicely, I pick up the tail at the back, lift it up, and make two wraps behind the tail. Drop down the tail again, split it open. Sometimes it helps just to wet your fingers to pull back the fibers and make two wraps again. Now we pull back the whole Zonka strip. And secure it in place. For the body, we're going to make use of the UV dabbing that I showed you. Take some fibers in your hand. Between your, two, between your thumb and your forefinger and place it on the thread and turn. If you find it hard, just wet your fingers slightly. It'll make it easier. You can, you can create quite a thick dubbing noodle on this fly because it's quite a bulky fly. And then while you dub it, every turn you just give it another twist. When you're in the middle of the body and you need more dubbing, don't be afraid of applying more. That's 100% fine. We're going to leave the thread right here. This is where we're going to tie in the tail. And then from there on forward, we'll create the, um, the collar with the with a orange Zonka strip. With a brush, this is a Velcro brush, just brush out all the UV fibers. The bottom, at the top, everywhere. And just pull it down. We'll create a nice belly profile. Especially when you're tying um, this fly to mimic um, bait fish, this, this works very effectively. Now, Pull the Zonka strip forward, place it over the body, like that. Pinch it in place, and using pinch wraps, I'm just going to do one more, lock it in place. Cut off the excess Zonka strip. Run your thread forward just to tidy up that area. That. That's it. Now, to create the dubbing brush, create a dubbing loop. You do this by pulling down the thread, doubling it over, and securing it in place. Like that. Now you have this loop. Take your, either your dubbing, um, spinner or your 
milk frother and hook that into the dubbing loop and just let that hang right there. Now we're going to prepare the Zonka strip for the dubbing brush. Take a piece of Zonka and comb back the fibers like that. While well, holding it between your two fingers, take your bulldog clamp and just clamp some fibers like that. Now just cut it off. This is what you're looking for. Let me just show you. Now just brush out all the excess fibers so you'll be left with, with that. That's more than enough for this size fly. Place that into your dubbing brush and open the clamp. Now just spin it and with the with your brush again just brush out any fibers. It creates a nice dubbing brush. Remove your dubbing brush spinner and place the brush into your hackle pliers. Now move your thread forward just behind the eye and Palmer your dubbing brush forward. Palmer, just make sure that you have as many free fibers as possible, like that. Pull back fibers and lock that brush into place. Cut off that brush, and now it's secured in place. Pull back any fibers that are facing forward, like that. Just create a nice head for the fly. Now, take your whip finishing tool and do a whip finish. And cut off the thread. Now I can take a brush again, brush forward, and brush back while rotating your fly. Before applying the um, head cement, it also helps to slightly wet your fingers and comb back all the fibers. It keeps them out of place. Cut off that section. Now I'll get some head cement. I'm going to use my UV glue. Just apply a drop at the top bottom and then I just run the tip around to spread the glue over the exposed thread. Now I take your UV torch and just zap that. That secures it very well.
That's it. And there is a bunny leech. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please ask any questions regarding this fly in the comments down below.